All right. Welcome everybody to uh, PCA Sim Racing Wild West Zone Series Two. This is race four. This will be at Long Beach, so it should be a fun race. Now, I wanted to take a few minutes and uh, do the uh, big giant head intro um, because I uh, wanted to uh, clarify some fun stuff. At the end of uh, last race at Sandward, I was pretty well convinced that uh, my hopes of doing well in the sport class championship were pretty much over. Um, because I finished sixth. Um, and the people that I was competing against had pretty decent races and uh, finished in the, the top uh, top three positions. So was a little bit down. A um, couple of things changed post-race that, um, and actually they changed before the race, just nobody really had accounted for them yet. One is that Matt Mardini um, had actually been classed by the EDN E instructors into the club class, moving him out of sport. Um, typically, we wouldn't move somebody out of a class mid-competition series, but the, we actually, I guess they opted to do that for him because his son had started racing and had been classed in club and they wanted to race together. So Rodney accounted for that um, in a second version of the points post-race after he realized that that had happened and we got confirmation from uh, the powers that be that that was definitely a blessed move. So what that basically means is before the race, Matt had been classed in club class. So his points counted in the club competition, not in the sport competition, which changed some key things. One is that um, I wound up with getting the extra point um, for um, the pole position because I was a second finisher behind Matt, um, uh, at least we thought, um, in the class uh, grid. And so getting that point um, definitely was helpful. And the second thing that that meant is that uh, because Matt had passed me, um, and you saw in the last video that he passed me while I was sitting in the pits, I basically, I finished fifth instead of sixth, which also gave me some points. So net of all of that is in the sport class championship, Jeff Williams leads with 126 points after the first three races. And behind him is Arnie with 124 points and me tied with Arnie with 124 points. Um, technically, Arnie would win that tie break because his finishes have actually been better than mine. But uh, with the extra points, I'm tied. I'm tied in points. And as you remember, I had that zero incident race and then the pole position. So I have two extra points that I'm carrying um, uh, along with my, my finishing points. So pretty exciting. Um, I am two points back from the lead and uh, tied for uh, second in, in points. So still in the game, as they say. So tonight is at Long Beach. And Long Beach is a brutal, brutal street course. Um, very, very um, tough corners, no runoff at all. Or where there is runoff, it's not particularly useful. And you very easily get trapped if you spin. Um, so it's a tough track. Uh, the walls are not friendly. The one thing that is a benefit is uh, there are a lot of ways you can hit those walls and still get what's called a zero X, which basically means the system recognizes that you touched the wall, but you don't get an incident point for it. In qualifying, that's a bad thing. It'll actually invalidate your lap. But in the race, you don't get the incident point. So we have the ability, even if we touch the walls here and there, to finish with a zero incident race. But the challenging part of that is those wall glances don't, don't come for free, as you can damage the car and wind up uh, slowing the car down considerably and uh, impacting your race. So it's a treacherous track. Uh, it should be a lot of fun. Fast guys are getting into the 120s, um, which is uh, which is pretty darn fast. Um, I hear tale that 119s are possible. I am right now just touching the outside edge of 21s, um, which is great. Um, uh, my competitors, I'm not really sure where they are after practice, but uh, in Wednesday's prelude, um, we were all in the 23s, um, high 22s. So I've improved a little bit in the last couple of days, and I'm hoping that that's going to pay off. But who knows? Um, it should be a fun race. Um, a little bit different tonight. So we actually have two heats, um, a 20-minute heat, um, and then the top 10 finishers in heat one will be inverted, and we'll have a 25-minute heat. And there'll be a five-minute uh, warm-up in between the two heats. So a little bit of a different format. 
and part of it is because uh, the uh, the track is uh, really treacherous and it gives people a chance to kind of reset and get a, a second go. And there'll be an average of your finishes that will account for the points for um, for this week. Um, qualifying is a standard uh, three lap solo qualify. And we're doing a standing start, which is pretty exciting because uh, I now have a wheel that's got uh, uh, the dual analog clutch system, um, which gives me great launch. Um, although, as I found in the Prelude, that's kind of a blessing and a curse because I get off the line faster. I still have to deal with cars that may have gotten off slower in front of me, um, and that, that can create some interesting challenges. Uh, in the race two of the Prelude, <laughs> got into my teammate, Rob, uh, Rob Cottle, who I uh, have joined forces with in the team competitions. Um, I got into him um, coming into turn one, pushed him into Arnie Clayson. Arnie Clayson spun and it just became kind of a whole thing. Um, Stephen Chen came in behind me and uh, got me up in the air. Um, I think uh, Rob actually wound up on his side or on his roof in the corner. It was, it was a mess, but uh, we, we, we hope to not have those sorts of repeats. So um, even though I've got the cool dual clutch and should get off the line pretty quick, I've gotta, gotta be gentle and remember that uh, I've gotta, gotta stop for turn one. Anyway, should be a fun night. Hope you enjoy. If you have any guests tonight, uh, welcome. Uh, but please remember that uh, we do have the Wild, uh, the Wild West Zones uh, guys are racing for points for their championship. Uh, obviously, it's a very tight track. Uh, there's lots of spots where you can spin, and then you're kind of stuck doing a three or four or five point turn to get yourself pointed the right way. Please be very careful getting back on track or getting yourself pointed back in the right direction. Keep your relative up. People are coming quick, especially on the front street here. So uh, please be courteous. Don't uh, be the guy that uh, zooms out in front and wrecks somebody else's race. Uh, the formats tonight, we got two heat races. The first race is a 20-minute race. There will be a lone qualifying three-lap, 10-minute uh, qualifying session for that race. Uh, those qualifying times will count towards the... Uh, bonus points for the uh, championship. The second race, after the first race, there will be a five-minute break, and then there will be a 25-minute future race. The results from the first race will be uh, inverted for the first 10 finishers of the first race. So the top 10 finishers of the first race will be inverted on the grid uh, for the second race. 11 and up will be uh, will uh, start the second race in the same position you finish the uh, first race. Again, try and keep the chatter off the radio. Always a reminder about the Trading Paints uh, templates for our cars. Uh, let's try and be safe out there. And did I miss anything? Any questions? You might want to mention that what you said about the fuel levels again. I'm not sure everyone was here when you said that. Okay. So once again on the fuel, uh, I added a little bit of extra fuel. You get 43% fuel maximum available to you if you want it. So you need to make that adjustment if you want to make it. You won't need it for the first race for sure, but uh, the second race was kind of close, and I didn't want to have it be a fuel race for some people and somebody run out of fuel and somebody doesn't. So I added just an extra gallon in there. So uh, we should be good for the second race. I think it's 11.1 .1 or 11 point something gallons is the maximum. Also, there's no uh, quick repairs uh, tonight. So again, look after your cars. And when you exit the pits, uh, if you had to go into the pit for whatever reason, uh, please be very careful, especially where you have to get on there. Uh, people screaming down the, uh, the uh, front street here, uh, they're uh, maximum braking, so they don't have a lot of uh, opportunity to dodge people coming out of the uh, out of the pits. Okay, so no further questions. Have a, a good time tonight. Let's try and keep it clean. Remember, it's a standing start. Standing start tonight again. Same as it was on Wednesday. All right, time to qualify. It looks 
looks like you're clear on the pit exit. P15. I'm a weak one with a TP. Shut up, you're too tense.
Horrible, horrible, horrible. Well done, Jonathan. Okay. Great lap, Jonathan. Good luck, everybody. Thank you. Good luck. Good luck, everyone. Careful on the turn one. On everybody. Yeah, let's have 30 cars on track at the end of lap one. Pit 100 laps. Okay, Chip, are you ready? Watch for the lights. Floor it, green, green, green. Sector one time is good. <laughs> Balls need love too.
gap in front has increased to 2.4. Sector 2 is a second off the pace. Behind's really new in. The gap's now 1.8 seconds. Yellow flag, keep your wits about you, mate. is 0.9 off the pace. B-15.
behind is now 1.1 seconds. That was so funny, Ed. You almost put me in the pit lane. Okay, Chip. Hold your nerve, just keep it smooth. No mistakes. Thanks, Andrew. Thanks, Jeff. Thank you. Thank you. Left side. Thanks, Jeff. Fifteenth place. Hey, Brian, I'm getting a little squirrely. Thanks, Jason. Thanks, Brady. Yellow flag, caution.
Sorry about. Oh, no worries, man. Demolition Derby, man. Sector 2 is 2.5, off the pace. Demo Derby and rush hour traffic. So everybody drives in LA, right? Oh yeah, all the time, every day. Chasing them on the inside. Chasing are blinking like mad. I damn it. The gap behind is now 2.0 seconds. You're a second off the pace in sector one. So Rogers ahead is now 1.9 seconds. Come on by, Jonathan. Thank you, Volker. Same with you. Off the pace. Okay, Chip, there's a car exit in the pit. Heads up. Fourteenth. Your lap time was one twenty-four point three. This is tough sledding, man, I tell you. Raise your on your right. Thank you.
slowing up a little because he's blinking like nuts up here. I do not want to have a net code accident to finish this race. That would be a bad day. Terrible now. Could be 13. White flag. One more to go. Thank God. Takes care of that problem. No! Rich. That was unfortunate. Alright, Chip, you're reeling, no, Rogers. Turn, the gap is now 5.9. Well, these bloody head restraints, you come around that corner, I knew you guys were there, but I didn't dare blast through there because you can't see until you get turned your car turned around. Yep. Nice run for 10th there, Jeff. That was fun. Thank you, Matthew. That was a lot of fun. You are putting a lot of heat on. Okay, you a five-minute break, and then... Uh, 13th place. On to That's the, the end of the race. We'll get him next time. Let's grid up, eh? There's only a minute to grid up, so everybody should grid up here pretty quick. One hundred laps, thirteenth place. Heads up, get ready. Green, green, green. God damn it! Very good, so I was laying. Bad luck, Chip. Rough start, mate. We've got a lot of work to do now. How much for zero incident? <laughs> yeah. It's overrated anyway. So I've been hit three times and didn't even make it to the first corner. Yellow flag. Whoa, that was chaos. Just stay in the gas when you hit me, huh? That's a nice move. Hit me 18. Just happened back there. It looked pretty intense.
Okay, Jet, the next car is Williams. Chip, I'll give it to you on the front straight. Roger that. Yeah, you're running faster than me tonight. Didn't mean to bully you off, though. Well, you gotta catch me first. Okay, I looked in my mirror and went, oh no, it's Stephen Chen. Right side, Jeff, right side. Thank you, Jeff. Jeff. Well done, Chip. Nice move, mate. Thanks, Armando. So Williams behind is now 1.3.
Come on by, Stephen. Thanks, Fraser. The car in front of us is now Marshall. Sector 1 is 1.3, off the pace. Jason, take the right, man. Thank you, Armando. Thank you, Armando. Session. Hey Andrew, thanks for, uh, I, I thought you were trying to uh, get me around to you. I appreciate the effort. Out, hit the accelerator, what the hell? The gap to Marshall ahead is now 3.8. Sector 2 is 1.2, off the pace. is 0.4 off the face. Oh, and I do left hand Thank you.
Times are improving. Yellow flag, watch out. Well done, good pass. V13. Thanks, Rob. You're very welcome. There's a car leaving the pit lane. Thanks, Rob. thing. Yellow flag, watch out. By on the left, Brian. Thank you. Go left. Okay, Jeff, we're gaining on the car in front. The gap's now 2.3. Pass me on the left going into turn one, Jonathan. Thank you. Temperature's rising, it's now 83 Fahrenheit.
B12. Pass me on the left into turn one, Derwin. You're a second off the pace in sector one. Thank you. Left side, Jonathan. Thank you. Take the inside. Try and take the outside. Thanks, Armando. Left side, Derwin. Derwin, left side. Sector 3 is 0.6 off the pace. Need another one of those, like I needed a other hole in my head. Blue flag. Take me on the right. Okay, Chip. There's a car exit in the pits. Heads up. Thanks, Chip. Left Blue flag. Sector one is two point eight off the pace. Take me on the right. Stewards have called us into the pits for repairs. So that was Long Beach. As expected, it was a tough track and uh, really didn't bring out the best in, uh, in most of us, I don't think. Uh, I had a uh, really frustrating anger quit there with uh, two laps left to go in the race. Uh, was uh, doing my darndest to <laughs> um, allow the uh, faster driver that was lapping me uh, to get by and uh, was a little confused in the the situation uh cause i thought that i had slowed down enough and had given enough space for him to just go by me and uh didn't work out that way <laughs> and i missed my breaking point smacked the wall and 
thus ended the race. Not fun. Um, very frustrating. Um, I definitely had some choice words that uh, I used uh, that I edited out, so you didn't have to bear them. But uh, it was uh, it was all me, all 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 my doing um, or undoing, as it were, that uh, that cost me that. Let's look at the results here. Uh, heat one, heat one actually wasn't horrible. I started twentieth, uh, and I wound up uh, making up um, seven positions uh, finished 13th overall and uh, that luckily enough uh, put me uh, ahead of both Arnie and uh, Jeff Williams um, so that was that was the heat the heat actually came out in my favor because we actually looked at the heat the feature at an average of the two finishes to get our final points for tonight so um, the 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 heat race actually um, put me in a decent position. Um, to start the night, so was fairly pleased with that. When we look at my laps in um, in that session, um, pretty consistent. Um, of course, the first lap nuttiness that ensued in turn one, um, and some pretty consistent laps. Um, nothing too blazingly fast, but um, not bad. My fastest lap was uh, 123, almost flat, um, and uh, had a little bit of contact. Um, at the at the end of the race or in uh, lap 12, but uh, overall not not a bad heat. Um, get to the feature race. Feature race. Um, I started 13th um, because of my finishing position from the first heat. Um, I was uh, um, basically put in the same position that I finished uh, to start the the, the feature. Um, which wasn't bad because there were only two cars um, ahead of me that were not the fastest in the grid. So the top 10, um, as they finished, they were inverted. And uh, so the top 10 finishers were actually uh, uh, in the front of the pack with the fastest closest to where I started. Um, I got a decent start. Um, although, um, again, I, I found that I was off the line. I had to kind of baby it a little bit um, because I was faster off the line than the folks in front of me. And on this track, there was just nowhere to go with that speed. I mean, it's so narrow. Um, going left, right um, can get you into mayhem um, if you if you push it too hard. So it did an easy, easy go. Um, of course, you know, you saw the the, the last two laps um, kind of messed me up. But overall, it wasn't, wasn't a horrible race. Uh, my fastest lap in that uh, race was uh, 123.1, so a little bit slower. Um, and I had um, one loss of control spin early in the race, lap five. Uh, of course, the car contact again in lap one. Um, which I just, I, I couldn't avoid. Uh, it's like I coming up and then jam, and then I got hit from behind, and it was just craziness. Um, and then, of course, my last lap of the race was lap 16. There were two additional laps. It was an 18-lap race, um, as it concluded. Um, at the end of the day, uh, my finish here, I did finish behind both Arnie and um, Jeff who were both ahead of me in uh, the sports standings. Um, but they offset each other. So the the heat and the feature actually offset each other enough that um, at the end of the day, nothing really changed much in the standings. Maybe, you know, half point here, half point there, um, but nothing too significant. The real, um, I, I, I hate to call him a threat because I like him, but um, Jeff Rosenthal, had a tremendous night tonight in both uh, both the heat and the feature. He had zero incident races. He was the fastest car in sport class, so he got the pole position point um, and uh, finished really well in both races. Um, he finished 10th uh, overall um, in the heat, which put him on pole position for the start, and uh, he kept... Most of those positions, uh, he kept wound up finishing seventh, so he finished better than he did in the heat. So I had a really good night, um, of course, first in sport, both. So that's a pretty big haul um, for Jeff tonight. Um, so congratulations to him, because I, I, I certainly, obviously, couldn't do that. Um, and, uh, I mean, zero incident race twice, and to uh, come out on top um, in the, in the uh, 
finish in terms of sport um, in both both races. Um, congratulations to him. That's that's a huge huge um, boon in points and puts him, I think, um, tied now with me. Um, in um, uh, I'm in third position. I think I'm tied. I'll be tied with uh, with Jeff at the end of this. So he's caught up. And um, if he continues on the uh, trajectory that he's been on the last couple of races, um, he is likely to make a run in the next three races to uh, to take the sport championship, which, you know, good on him. I mean, he's definitely uh, put a lot of time and effort into developing the racecraft, and it's starting to show up in spades for him. So, man, I, uh, I, I, I look forward to seeing how this turns out. Um, should be fun. We are at Zolder next week which should be fun. Um, in the interim, it's kind of interesting. I have been invited to participate in another group um, for team racing. And this is actually a little bit different in that um, typically I've been driving Porsches. Um, and that's what you know most of my videos have been around because it's been PCA sim racing. The P in PCA is Porsche, Porsche Club of America. So um, that's been primarily what I've been driving. Um, for this new team event that I was invited to take a look at and participate in. I'm also going to be team driving with Rob Cottle um, in this as well, but we will be driving an LMP2 car, which is a whole other beast. Um, a lot of fun, really, really fast. Um, it should really, really be an interesting challenge. And I'll be doing a, a practice race um, this coming Sunday. Um, I'll be participating in that. It doesn't look like Rob's going to be able to join me for that, so it'll just be me kind of playing around with the car uh, in the practice session. But uh, the race itself is going to be on the 21st of February. Uh, that'll be the first, well, our first race. It's the second race in the series, our first participation. Um, and then it's on or around the 21st for each month for, I think, uh, another five or six months after um, this month. So that'll be fun. Um, and a little be a little bit different, a um, little bit uh, uh, of a departure from the normal GT and Porsche style racing uh, that you've uh, been seeing in my videos. So it should be exciting. Rob and I are pretty excited about it, and both of us are uh, a little bit intimidated by the car, I think. I think that's fair to say. Um, and um, it, it will be a different traffic management problem, so it'll be a lot of fun to kind of see how that goes. Um, Anyway, I uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, Long Beach was a uh, was a trip, man. Street fighting uh, in Long Beach. I, I gotta say, it's uh, um, uh, an event that uh, I'm happy to put behind me. <laughs> I'll be honest. And on to Zolder next week. So please join me uh, next Friday. Take care. Thank you. Bye.